do. Welcome, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing part three of the Ethereum Wars, or Lost to the Ages. Um, the first part, I showed you the start of the whole quest at Arkenthoms, where you first meet Katria, or whatever her name is, and the other two open locations where you can pick up the Ethereum shards. And then part two, I showed you Roldbathar and where the final shard is located and how to get to, uh, um, what is it, the Black Reach? Yeah. I'm, jumping around here a little bit, but I digress. This is part three of the Ethereum Wars, and you are now going to go to the Ethereum Forge, which is located beneath the ruins of Batalft. So let's get on with this mission. You get to the ruins of Batalft, you will have to fight some bandits, and Katria will help you out, and your horse will help you out if you have one. For the most part, the walk through the cavern will be uninteresting. What is it? I can hardly believe it. This is it. We've actually found the forge. Dwarven standards. No one has been here in thousands of years. To get to the top of the main temple, there's some Dwemer scrap metal you can pick up, and there should be a Dwemer bow and arrow somewhere which you can use to. Um, trigger the tonal lock. All I do is use the arrows, the bow I can sell. So, yeah, you should be able to easily trigger the tonal lock.
now that the doors are open, you can go to the main hall and begin the final part of this mission. I, you can walk around and explore. I mean, you look here, it's kind of nice and detailed. But when you get into the main mission and you come down this hall, there's going to be some potions on a table. You might want to grab those because they will come in handy if you have to use them. For some reason, the Forge Master seems immune to arrows, and so, yeah, you're going to have to confront him and attack him with a hand weapon, because I'm hitting him dead on with arrows, and it's doing nothing. something of course go ahead after everything you've done you should do the honors there isn't any ethereum here is there damn it wait yes yes there is the shards we collected they're pure ethereum remember it's not much but it'll do with them and the materials in this room we should have everything we need. Pick up all the optional crafting materials. I'm going to clear out the Forge Master first, then go for the crafting materials. What 
is it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. After all these years, it's a miracle even this much survived. Make it count. This may be the only chance we ever get to use the forge. The optional crafting material is in alcoves on the left and right of the forge. As you can see here, they're in treasure chests, and there is a lot of stuff that is at least worth money if you sell it. So pick up those optional crafting materials. When you use the forge, you can choose from three items to make, the crown, the shield, or the staff. I usually will choose the shield because it's actually really interesting, and if you want to build a dwarven armored tank, it's actually a really nice item to have. Otherwise, I just craft it because the other two, uh, yeah, they're working, but they're not great. And that is the end of Lost to the Ages. I'm going to miss Katria. She was kind of cool. And it is also the end of my three-part Ethereum Wars videos for Skyrim. And I'm just going to get the character out of this place and into the wilds of Skyrim. So... That's about it for this adventure. If you like it and you found it useful, hit the thumbs up icon and leave a message or something or a comment. I do try and respond to them. If you like videos about video games, I post four a week and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button. And bell icon, and you will be informed when I post those videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.